What's for lunch? Fried chicken. Fried chicken? Where'd you get fried chicken from? Uh, What's William. the name of the place? Yeah. William's Fried Chicken? William's Fried Chicken. Oh, how is it, William's Fried Chicken? Is it as good it's as... It's better than Popeye's because I don't like any seasoning. Ah, alright, now you know. In the states of matter. Most of the time when, when school groups uh, book this class, it's either at the beginning of their I'm states of matter or at the office. end of the reinforcing of their section when they cover the, the states of matter. So who can tell me first of all what is matter? Yes. Anything. Right? No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who else? Who else? Who can give me a yeah. everything. Everything. How about anything which takes up space and has <coughs> mass? Now, mass is different from weight. Weight is your attraction to the gravity source that you were basically closest to. I weigh 270 you, pounds on this gravity source. Takes up space but if I go into outer mass. space, I weigh nothing. Did my mass disappear, though? No, I'm still here. My molecules. And that's what we talk about the matter. Now, what are the states of matter? Who can name the states? Yes, ma'am. So I don't think gas. Oh, do you stop there? Oh, okay, yes, in the yellow hat. We will. Wow. Did you say Bose, Einstein, condensate? How old are you? Uh, Wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. Okay, excellent. Uh, and I was looking for the other end of the temperature spectrum, though. Uh, Plasma. Okay, we like to watch plasma on our TV, but plasma is also other things. We can take like this gas in here, and if we get it close to an energy source, we can heat it up and it glows. This is a plasma. Okay, ninety percent of the universe is in this state. Okay, when we look at those really cool pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope. We're looking at stars. We're looking at plasma. Big huge bottles of plasma. Yes. So all that steam coming out. Anytime you see steam, that is energy leaving to take heat away. This is why our coffee and our hot chocolate gets cold. Every time you see steam, that is molecules escaping away from it. Okay? Not as impressive, but it gets to the point across that energy can be absorbed. I don't know if I need to hand this to you or not. <laughs> How about we both do it? Okay. Now what you're seeing right here is an example of heating a liquid in an open system. What do I mean by open? It is in direct contact with all the atmosphere out here. Even though we're heating this little water bit right here, that water is in contact with all the other areas around it. So we are going to see the rapid expansion and the rapid cooling of the liquid. Remember, we're heating up small amounts at the bottom, and that heat energy is transferring through the other molecules as they bump into each other. Okay, so now you can see rapid expansion. You see a little bit of cooling right there. But if I take the heat source away, come over here, you'll definitely see the, the cooling right there. Now, in this case, this is not an open system. This is a closed system, or a almost closed system. I've got a stopper up here, and I'm only going to let the, the pressure out these two little spots. Okay? Now, sometimes when the pressure builds up in here, they explode. Okay, well, we'll see what one happens, okay? That's why you're in front of me. Okay? It's already been done. So now we're waiting. We get the rapid expansion. Now we're starting to see the vibration. Okay, the pressure's building up, and I've got two little bitty holes right here. And as the pressure builds up enough to escape, that's why you got the goggles on. We can get motion out of the heat. Now this is called a steam engine. But technically it's called a hero's engine after Hero of Alexandria, who first discovered this, or wrote it down, in the year 4 AD. It only took us 1816 years to figure out what to do with it. And that's called
called a train. And then the age of steam. Oh, uh, I have to go for the glasses. That's cool. All right, come over here. I got quick, it, Joanne. I got it. There you go. Yeah, she, she's not going to need that chair anymore. Hold that wrong. She's ah. going to need that chair Hold anymore. That on. Now, are those real goggles? Or are those no. Fake ones? Okay, good. Here we go. You can leave them on because you know what's really cool about these things is they'll fit sometimes over yours. There you go. All right, now come here. She has no nose. Grab this right here. There you go. Grab this right there. We're going to practice. You're going to take this and you're going to place it right here. Okay? Now, here's something you don't want to do. Why don't you want to do this? Because that's going to be on fire. Okay. All right. So, very carefully, you're going to do this and do that. Now, I'm going to be back here where it's safe. Now, the reason I'm going to be back there is what? That's going to be on fire. And that is... Hydrogen gas. If I never get it to light. Let me get out of the way. Okay, go ahead. Very careful. Exploding hydrogen gas. Okay? So pretty cool, huh? Alright. Yeah, she's like, okay, that was fun. <laughs> take a bell, take a bell, take a bell. Nitrogen. So if you breathe in nitrogen. So if you breathe in and you breathe out, 78% of what you breathe in and out is this. It is an inert inert gas, which means it doesn't go boom. Unless you do really things with okay now it looks like it's boiling because it is it is boiling at 320 degrees below zero fahrenheit that's its boiling point 196 degrees below zero celsius and i just thought i'd have a little bit of fun with the liquid nitrogen so when we got to this point of the class i put latex gloves on you know the doctors and nurses were but underneath my table, since I knew there was going to be a kid that goes, put your hand in there, I had a latex glove with hot dogs in each one of the fingers. <laughs> so when the kid goes, put your hand in there, I pulled my hand inside my long sleeve shirt, I grabbed that glove full of hot dogs, and I put it in there. And of course, they're going. And all the little kids are like that, the parents are going, oh, and you know, the kids are going, oh, let's see what we're saying. I'm just, and I'm settling. I'm going, ah, it's so not hot. It's so not hot.
want to do something as foolish as this. <laughs> Over here, I can't see the shark. Okay, it's gonna get in the shark cage. It's a real cage. Some big tea fizz. I see a little bit of dried blood on that too. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Now, what is shark liver oil used for? Do you know? If you put lipstick on at least 20 years ago or earlier, you were putting shark liver oil on your lips. Or skin moisturizer. But now they've got other sources that they use. Now, how can you tell it's also a boy? You look right up here by its stomach, right here, and right here. Those are the internal boy parts. Okay, that's the testes. No, kids, you can't hit a shark right here in the middle of its back and watch its eyes cross. It won't work. Okay? Why are they inside? Because they're not mammals. And they're in cold water. they got to keep them warm. Okay? Mammals like to have their cooler. Here's the stomach right here. And let's see what's in there. Oh, oh yeah. Sometimes it's awesome. Sometimes it's multi-meal. Okay? I've actually cut one open where I actually had a, two big chunks of fish inside and a bunch of shrimp. Okay. Alright, be careful. Be nice with our, our shark. We want to treat it with respect, okay? Treat it with respect. Yeah, we don't want to tear him up. Okay. So here's his heart. Heart right here. Okay. That is the pancreas. This is its version of an intestine. Called the spiral okay, bowel. that's this. There's the liver. And the testes. That's the boy parts on the inside. Okay. Right here. See, I cut it open so you can see the muscles inside. And then this is what it was eating. Wow, it's yummy. Got himself a good old thing. Well, it is seafood. He wants to eat that stuff. No, no, no. Is that cool? No, it's not cool. But you're not running away. Cool. See how now normally when I get Do these, this is a feel this the most thing on earth? expanded. Um, it's a lot narrower right, right here. So apparently this was sitting no, in there for quite a while. Part. Obviously it's been sitting there since yeah, it was right caught and, and yeah. died. So it, so it just well it never died a chance to digest it very much, and so it's just sitting in there in this membrane yet. expanded. Mm -hmm. Usually it's a lot tighter. Why did you say so sorry, bull sharks love those man-made canals for their babies. So if you have pets in one of those little like. Places, wow, that's keep them out of the water. This is a fish. Because they're bull sharks. Especially in the lake portion. I mean, they always have the, the central that's lake, and then they have the channel to the next central lake, and then the next channel. Those central lakes are real deep. So they really like to get in there and hang out. Use your sand sanitizer, Brian. Yeah. 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 No, no, you got to get it underneath there. Well, you'd let go of the other one. You always take the one and turn it inside out. Turn it inside out. And now go ahead, go ahead and use the sanitizer. Uh, turn it to somebody else. Cool?